you got the message of just very simply your Royal Highness? Yes. Yeah. And then ma'am. Ma'am, I know very well. You keep digging <laughs> in. Make sure I do it on it. Cook soon, you're saying the wrong thing. No. <laughs> of the people are still out in the sales areas working and they unfortunately we just couldn't get them in it's not physically possible to have them all in here but uh, we've got as many as we can the invitations that we get come from outside we don't invite ourselves so what you do is conditional to what people actually want you to do i mean they hope that a member of the family appearing will get them a bit more publicity. Um, that seems to me to be perfectly fair as long as they're um, efficient and good at their job, so to speak, I and mean, that they're doing the right sort of things, um, which I think Avon particularly were. Mum, I'd like to introduce you to Brian Dunn, who's our processing manager in charge of the area. Your Highness, uh, I'll introduce you to Michael. It's not even me, if you like, um, because when you're talking about publicity, you're talking about the title, not the person. Because in this particular instance, it's the title which counts um, more than anything else. I mean, I, I imagine they could have done with any member of the family. And uh, once, once we've mixed it for the mixing period, we send it for a heat exchange, which cools it down to room temperature. Then we submit it to the laboratory. The examination is carried out over a considerable period of time, 24 hours up to a week, so that the full display of odors during the dry out period can be appreciated. So is it still being evaluated by it's finished? It's All finished. Is completed. All those noses have done their bit. Right, and this is the one yeah. pack presentation. Do you find the, the process interesting? No? We do. For Princess Anne, Avon is just one of a string of factories to be visited during the year. For Jim Cookson, the two and a half hour visit is of agonizing importance. It's cost thousands of pounds and months of effort, and he'll be in trouble if his American chairman is not pleased with the effect. He's been here for a bit longer than eight years. A long time. How long have you been this sort of work? Well, you've always done the same. I've been here about six months when I started doing the machinery. <laughs> How's it behaving? Bad? Very well, I hope. <laughs> not too bad. No. Do the job which you desire.
The following day, the newspapers give their versions of Princess Anne's visit to Northampton. In general, Princess Anne gets a mixed press, and sometimes the image has been unsympathetic. Does that concern you very much? No. It's too late anyway. It does seem there's a difference in the way that the, the Fleet Street, the national press people treat you, and the way that you're treated when you go on a visit into the provinces. You mean in the terms of the media? I mean, sort of local press, I suppose. Yeah. Well, that's possibly because the local press are actually there at the time. <laughs> Um, if, and are actually watching it and probably hearing it, um, whereas the national papers don't are sort of usually conspicuous by their absence um, on the occasions, especially the ones which they tend to um, pontificate about. And the chances are they weren't. Not only were they not there, but nobody else was either. So, you know. I mean, I, you tell me. I mean, I don't fit their image. Is my. Um, I mean, I just don't fit into the slot which they think that I ought to. They also feel, I think, uh, I've seen reported by a, a number of um, writers, that, that you're uncooperative, that you deliberately go out of your way not to, to help them. What, the press? What, an official engagement? I don't do stunts, if that's what you mean. I mean, I don't go for their benefit. Um, I go for the people who ask me. Um, and to some extent, um, the publicity that you get for them is is all that you're going to achieve, but I nonetheless go for their benefit. And if I think it's a stunt which is just designed to please their editors, I don't really see why I should do it, especially if it's got nothing whatever to do with the programme or what I'm doing, you know, and they've just stuck it in. Um, it usually upsets everybody, except for themselves. The state boxes arrive at Gatcombe the papers they contain is one of the princess's duties as councillor of state. When Her Majesty is out of the country, the constitution requires that there are two councillors of state to fulfil her state obligations. These include receiving ambassadors and saying farewell to departing ambassadors, as well as reading and signing any state papers. Another of her state duties is to represent the Queen at certain important Commonwealth functions. It was as the Queen's representative that she went to the 10th anniversary of independence in Fiji. Good packing. I know. <laughs> That's how I do mine. Has anyone got a coat? Yes. Oh, what do you think I'm here for? So that's the mop now, is it? Yep. Right, everyone's got everything. Yes. Seating plans will be coming up later on. What else have I got to say? What's tomorrow's plan for you, 
Did, did the swimming stuff come back in the bag, the little yes, bag? Yes, all bags down there. Um, just yours. What time's that tomorrow? Do you see any more? Oh, really? Well, what's that? Oh, this is helpful. Well, they need not answer phone quickly. She gets stabbed to death. Yes. <laughs> That's not the first three time eight. it's happened. Three, one. What I would now see happening is the knight's going to be sitting down. If you would stand there, in other words, there, so that, once the princess has come, she'll come through that door now. She'll walk down here, and she'll come to this position. I'll be with her, and we'll be a sword there, which I will pick up. So. And then as soon as you see I've got the sword in my hand, and I'm about to give it to the princess, if you could call out um, the first name. Just one more. No, no, no. You can't do it. You can't put it up here. We'll try. That's too high. Too high. Too high. Too high. I think try. I just did that. Try that. No. No, it's, it's, you don't like this. Yeah. Right there. Just the one knee. There. Right. That's it. Right. The idea is to put this back here. You see, your name will be called up, and you will come out, and you will stand here, and the princess will be there, and you give a neck bow first, and then... Yes. Do it again.